This video has very loud noises and sounds, so if you're using headphones, then I would mind that you turn down your headphones so you do not go deaf. What do you mean? Where's my handlebar? What do you mean? Do you see this? Where's my handlebar? What do you mean, bro? Where, where? Bro, where's my handlebar? Okay guys, so as you just saw before, um, yeah, my handle, my bike is kind of broken. I mean, nah, it's not broken. I can totally per perfectly ride it fine. No, nah, it's broken. But anyways, basically, this is what happens when you have a Walmart bike for two years. I mean, maybe if you don't get in a crash with your friend because you're going super fast and you guys end up crashing and then it cracks your handlebar and you try and put it back down and then it cracks even more. So this is like three months later and... As you guys can see, the handlebar is not there anymore. Yes, there's a handlebar on the other side. But there's not a handlebar on this side. Hold on. Not a handlebar on this side. And there's a handlebar on that side. Basically, what happened was the handlebar fell off. Yeah. So, um, that's what happens when you have a Walmart bike for two years. Yeah. I've had that Walmart bike for two years. That's also why I'm getting a new bike. That's not a Walmart bike because Walmart bikes are trash. And I would not prefer you get one if you're trying to keep it for a while and go to the skate park and do tricks with it. I would not recommend that. Because even though it's a BMX bike, even in the pamphlet it says that it's not meant for tricks. So don't get a Walmart bike, please. Don't. If you're going to get a bike to do tricks and ride a lot, then I would get a real BMX bike, not a Walmart bike. Not any store bike. I'd rather get one from a bike shop or a bike site. So, <laughs> yeah, I will see you guys in the next one, but that was a little skit there. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. Bitch, I wanna party like Chris